The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, has declared President Muhammad Buhari's in-law, Gimba Kumo, and two others wanted in connection with the alleged misappropriation of about $65 million national housing funds. A release by the agency's spokesperson, Azuka Ogugua, gave the wanted person's names as Tari Rufus, Bola Agunsola, and Gima Kumo, a former managing director of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. He had, in 2016, married Fatima, the president's daughter in Dara Kasina State. In April of this year, the Nigerian Senate Committee on Public Accounts summoned Kumo to explain alleged irregular award of $3 billion Naira contract when he was still at the bank. The Senate report indicated that the contract was awarded in four phases and was overpaid to the tune of over 3 billion Naira. The ICPC asked members of the public to provide information about the whereabouts of Kumo and other wanted persons to the Commission's headquarters or zonal offices across the country. Look, look at our water. You see, you see the problem we have got? We come from another, we come from your country and destroying our water. The water we will drink. You, can you drink this? So you see, this is the problem. Hello, how do These guys are well established with machines, plants. They have two plants. One supplying water to their site, which is about a kilometer from here. Then, when they wash the gold, when they wash the gold, they now discharge the water through the second plant into the river. So one is supplying, one of the pipes is supplying their, their, their uh, washing machine, which is about a kilometer from here, and one is discharging water, the wastewater, into the river, polluting the river. So this is the main problem. You see, the guys are operating beyond uh, this in, uh, 100 meters from the river. Yet, their establishments are, are causing so much distraction to the river. So the caveat we are operating with, the 100 meters caveat, is not feasible. It's not feasible. If we need to really deal with this issue head on, we have to review that caveat. We have to review it. The hundred meters, and uh, to give us freedom, freedom, freedom of action, so that we can operate fully. Uh, with, we can operate fully to ensure that we achieve the success we all desire. You know, and that we will finish this operation, and these guys will still be on the water and be destroying it. There will not be any uh, any change. So, if we we really need to get serious, we really need to uh, make impact, real impact on ground. This thing they should give us a, a minimum allowable uh, distance. Uh, 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 operational distance of two kilometers from the river. Anything within two kilometers astride the river, we should destroy it. Even this one that I'm we are seeing here is one kilometer from the river. But yet they are the very people causing the mayhem. They are the very people destroying the river than even the those with the smaller, smaller, smaller machines. We need to relook really at this. Very, very, very key. Very important.